All right, welcome back. Let's do question 24. Now, you can see five circles here. <laughs> okay, that's what it says. Huh? This is a 1998 paper 1 SPM clone question. All right, and let's look at the question. It says a piece of wire of length 40 pi is cut to form five circles. So imagine a long, long wire and you cut and you form the bigger circle and then you cut a smaller one to form the smaller circle, right? And you then you cut another smaller one to form the smaller circle. Yeah, and uh, that's how they are made in order to form five circles. And I'm sure there is an AP somewhere. Let's read the question. The diameter of each circle increases by 1 cm in sequence. The diameter increases. Yeah, so the diameter increases. Now, my circles are not very circle circular. So uh, forgive me. I cannot draw uh, really that well. But basically, it means that this is D, let's say. Let's say, right? And the second one would have a bigger D and it increases by 1 cm, right? So that would be D plus 1, correct or not? And then the third one will be D plus 2, right? D plus 2 and D plus 3. So your your AP or the diameter itself forms an AP. So let's put it down. Uh, the first diameter is D. The second one is D plus 1. And the uh, second one is D plus 1 plus 1, right? So that's D plus 2 and so forth. Now this may not be the AP that you can use. Yeah, Let's look at the question. Find the diameter of the smallest circle. Alright, so the diameter of the smallest circle is D, right? Now, a lot of students will form an AP based on this. You know, you can see an AP straight away. What? D, D plus 1, D plus 2, right? However, what are you going to equate it to? You're looking for D, right? What are you going to equate it to? The only other information that you have is 40 pi. And 40 pi, what is 40 pi? 40 pi is centimeter and it is the length of the wire that forms these five circles, which tells you that 40 pi pi is the sum of the circumference of these five circles, right? That means this is something pi plus this, plus this, plus this, plus this. All the circumference add up will give you 40 pi. So therefore, if you want to equate something to 40 pi, because in order to find D, you have to form an equation. And the only information that you have is 40 pi. If you want to equate something to 40 pi, that means you have to find the circumference of the circle, because the circumference of the circle adds up to be 40 pi. That means 5 of them will add up to be 40 pi. So if you form the circumference of the circle as the AP, then you can use S5. So let's form the circumference. Let's form an AP based on the circumference of the circle. So now we're going to do the first circle. yeah. So the first circle. Alright, so the first circle, the circumference would be 2 pi r, which is also equals to pi d, right? 2 r is diameter, so it's pi d. So that's the first one. d is d, la, we're putting in d. So what about the second circle, yeah? We're going to do the second circle. We only need 3 in order to form an AP because we want to find the A and the D. Alright, so this is uh, pi diameter times pi, right? So the diameter is d plus 1. So pi times d plus 1. Okay, so this is pi d plus 1. And uh, the third circle, right? The third circle, right? That would be pi times diameter, which is d plus 2. And so that is pi d plus 2 pi. Oh, pi d plus pi, yeah, miss it here. So your A, from this, okay, basically this is your AP for the circumference of the circle. T1, T2, T3, yeah, let's write it here. That is T1, that is T2, and that is T3. Okay, now why do I use the circumference? Remember, because all the circumference adds up to be 40 pi. So therefore, you cannot use the D as the AP. So this is your AP now. So the A is pi D. And the D is pi D plus pi minus pi D. So basically, pi D plus pi minus pi D. That is cut, cut. So that is pi. So D is pi. So verify it. Pi D minus this minus this. Yes, you get a pi. So that's good enough, yeah? A is pi D and D is pi. So now you can form your equation. 40 pi is the total circumference for the five circles, right? And based on T1, T2, T3, which is the circumference of the circle, means if I add all of them up, 
if I add pi d plus pi d plus pi plus pi d plus 2 pi plus the fourth one plus the fifth one, I get 40 pi. So that means, that means S5 would equal to 40 pi, right? So that is 5 over 2, 2 A is pi d plus n minus 1 is 4 and d is pi is equals to 40 pi. Alright, so now you can uh, multiply this in, cut off and cut with this. So that gives you 5 pi d plus 10 pi is equals to 40 pi. Alright, so now let's uh, have a look at here. Can you see there's pi and there's pi and there's pi? So just c you can just divide everything with pi. So basically just cut them off. Yeah, if every term has pi. So now that leaves you with 5d plus 10 equals to 40. Oh, so d now you can do that's 30 divided by 5. So d is 6 centimeter. And d is also the diameter of the smallest circle, which is 6, which is your answer for a. Yeah, D is 6. Yeah, diameter of the smaller circle is 6. Okay? Alright, now, how are we going to do B? Let's look at B. Now, the number of circles that can be formed if the length of the wire used is 105 pi. So now, if it is 40 pi, you can form 5 circles. If it is 105 pi, how many circles can you form? So what are you looking for now? You're looking for N now. N, just now N was 5, right? The number of terms is 5. You can form 5 circles. So N is 5 and SN is 40 pi. Now, if it is 105 pi, what is N? So it is the reverse. Now, let's write it over here, yeah? For B, the total of all the circumference of the circle is 105 pi, right? 105 pi. That would mean the sum of all the circumference of the circle is 105. So that would mean that 105, uh, 105 pi is equals to n over 2. You don't know how many circles can you form, so you don't know the n. 2, a was pi d, and d is 6, yeah? So therefore, your a is 6 pi, yeah? So 2a plus n minus 1, you do not know, and the difference is pi, yeah? The common difference. Okay, so now be very careful when you're doing this, yeah, because you have n and you have pi here. So that's 210 pi is equal to n, and that is 12 pi plus pi n minus pi. Right, okay, now open your bracket carefully. So that is 12 pi n plus pi n square minus pi n. Now you can uh, divide everything with a pi because there's a pi here, there's a pi here, there's a pi here, there's a pi here, right? So basically, you can divide everything with a pi. So cut off the pi, right? So that leaves you with 210 is equals to 12n minus n. That is 11n plus n squared. So it's a quadratic equation. So let's write it again. That is n squared plus 11n minus 210, and that is equals to 0. So now factorize it. So you will get n is equals to negative 21, or n is equals to 10. So that means that is n plus 21 and n minus 10. Now negative is not acceptable, yeah? So your answer is just n is 10, okay? All right, so uh, that's it for question uh, 24, yeah? So the number of circles that can be formed uh, if the length of the wire is 105 pi would be 10, all right? So that's it. I will see you in the next video for question 25.